feel the power. I can actually can. Faster, <laughs> 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 come on. Come on, man. Press it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, so protect yourself, step as a plank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? Yep. How are you, big man? Hey, dude. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? You're right. Good, yeah, how are you, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just so nervous. <laughs> Wait, I've not deadlifted honestly in like four years. Jeez, man. <laughs> All the stuff you've been doing, you're not doing any deadlifts. Mate, I know. I'm not. I'm not on sea based. I'm not land based anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what my best is today. But that's in. That is really interesting. I'll tell you what we'll do today because. I did heavy last week, so we can do speed deadlifts today. Okay. Which is a, a completely different sort of method, but it trains the fast twitch fibers in your body. Yeah, yeah. Makes you super, super explosive and gets that that deep, that deep volume in your muscle as well. Right. Also, looking at almost like rate of force development, so it's not just like what you can generate in terms of force, but it's it's the speed at speed. which you can generate. Yeah, yeah. Bang. So if you can get, if you can stand up with a weight around 50% of your max as fast as you're getting up out of the chair mm. that's creating the, the, the sort of fast twitch fibers like building, okay. yeah, yeah, building yeah. that power from the floor and that can make you way more powerful in the big lifts love this okay so I, well, I did a little bit this this is a basically looking at Newton's laws of physics so when you look at force equals mass times acceleration I think too many people will manipulate the mass part of that equation so just add in more and more weight Whereas what we're going to do today, my understanding is we're manipulating the acceleration to speed. So keeping the mass the same, but be manipulate acceleration, then you generate more force. That's essentially what we're going to do. Pretty much it, yeah. Pretty much it. That sounds so, a little bit better. So on you're, doing half, you're doing half the weight, but you're still putting the same amount of effort in as you would as a max. Right, rather than like, bah, bah, it's yeah. That's it. That makes me nervous. Signing a waiver form so Eddie doesn't kill me. Right, this bar. Yep. It's the bar of 500 kilo on. The actual, Is it actually? The actual bar. Genuinely? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Sacred, <laughs> sacred bar. Sacred, that's why it's locked up. Feel the power. I can, actually can. <laughs> <laughs> right, put 500 on it. <laughs> That's ambitious. I should point out, like I said, what I lack in strength or athleticism, I make up for in childlike naivety <laughs> and blind optimism. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's honestly. See, so even like even this when I was just like, yeah, yeah, not deadlifted in four years. I just I'd go and deadlift with Eddie Hall, World's Strongest Man. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean like blind optimism? Would you say it's easy to lift but hard to be like? excel at elite you know you, there's levels to it you have to have a lot of patience because basically like for you i could spend four weeks with you relearning you relearning you the technique of deadlifting oh is mine that bad yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm nervous did you see the speed he was just lifting that out my god but this is the thing i said what i lack in strength and athleticism i make up for in blind optimism and quite frankly like i said if, if eddie hall says we're doing speed deadlifts i go i'm in you know like how often are you going to be able to train with the world's strongest man so uh i'm massively out of my depth but keen and naive <laughs> do you know what have you uh, maslow's hierarchy of needs have you heard about that so Maslow, famous psychologist, he says like we humans have, have a hierarchy of needs. So like imagine a pyramid, yeah, yeah. and at the base you've got food, warmth, shelter, and sleep. Like that's what you need yeah. to actually function as a human. As you move up, you've got like family and friends. As you move up, you've kind of got like um, a sense of worth and, and your job and you know things yeah, like yeah. security. So you're moving up now, but at the very top, it's called self-actualization. Mm -hmm. And Maslow talked about like Einstein had it. You know, in that, like, and a lot of people, these kind of like top achievers, as he called them, they had it where 
They had food, warmth, shelter. They had their friends and family. They had job security. Mm. But this idea of self-actualization at the top, not many people really get there. Yeah. But it's this idea where you're just content. You can look yourself in the mirror and go, it's, it's your sense of purpose, your reason for being, and your, you've kind of realized what you were put on this earth for. That's exactly it. Almost. I, think, I think a lot of people are quite happy and content just, you know, having a nine to five job and having a few kids. And, and, and they, they haven't got aspirations to do other things in life. And that's fine, and that, that's totally normal. Yeah. But then there are other people that are like, that's not for me. You know, yeah. I want to break the mold. I want to yeah. I want to go and climb my, Mount Everest. Yeah. I want to go and win the world. I want to go swim around the UK. That is it. Like a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. I think you're right. Too many people don't go to the top of that pyramid. But when you are, I love that you're just like, I'm there. So you're at the back, you look yourself in the mirror and go, yeah. I'm cool. I've completed it. I've completed I'm it. Happy. I'm happy. Yeah. Now, faster, faster. Come on. Come on, man. Press it. Yes. Last one's the best one again. Good. Yeah, bro. He's fine. That third one. Is, you know what that is? That's that's because you're not used to firing your fast switch fibers. Yeah. And what you do is you're waking them up first wet, waking them up for the second rep, waking them up, and the third rep they're awake. Yeah. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to teach you without the pretensing. Yeah. That little bit, that jolt before you start, you just activate yourself a bit. So maybe yeah. on the next one, just lift it an inch, hold it for a second, put it down, and then go into your set. Just activate everything. Yeah. 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 There we go. Finish, finish, finish. Wow. Did you have any points across that swim where you're on the boat, sleeping, eating, whatever? Were there any points where you're like, fuck it, I can't do this? Mate, yeah, there was one which was Corey Beckham, Giant Whirlpool in Scotland. And they were like, look, like you need to swim and swim hard. Giant Whirlpool, people have lost their lives, ships have gone down. Yeah. I was like, all right, cool. So Matt, the captain was like, Ross, you need to swim for six hours get through it. I was like, cool. So I'm swimming, I'm swimming. And as I'm doing it, I'm looking at my watch like that. I'm swimming. Three hours in, get stung by a jelly jellyfish, the giant jellyfish of Scotland. Oh. Maybe, I've been stung by loads, but this one in particular, it was like, it was, it was so painful. It was like someone had a hot poker. Uh -huh. It was like searing it onto my skin, on my face. I turned to Matt, the captain, and I was like, me. I said, I've been stung. I said, I'm trying to swim through it. I'm swimming through it. So I swim through it for about an hour. And then I look up at Matt again. I said, Matt, I said, I'm so sorry. This pain's not going away. He looked at me, said, what's up? I said, been stung by a jellyfish. He goes, yes, I know. It's still wrapped around your face. <laughs> I've, been, I've been wearing oh it like, the whole time. It's just like flapping on my face. <laughs> and then I, I got back on. We made it clear to Corey Beckham, and I'll never forget. I, I, I was picking tentacles out of my face with oh tweezers. My I'm putting vinegar on, and I was like, what am I doing? I was only, and then I, that was halfway. Jesus you know, so after Christ. all of that, I still had like 1,000 1, miles still to swim. That's you know. incredible. Yeah. Faster. Two. Up. Yes. Good man. Third one again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the second one was faster. Yeah, it was. Definitely, actually. definitely your third one was the best one again. Yeah. 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 Still not very good at deadlifts. We're 30 minutes in, and I'm still not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be making my strongman uh, appearance anytime soon. <laughs> that is, I have got better. I feel like I've got, am I like most improved player award? You know when you get... <laughs> you get an anticipation medal. Oh no! That hurts! <laughs> I claim it, that's what I'm... <laughs> the wooden spoon! <laughs> right. Deadlift. Graduated. Now I think we've got... We've got upper back, then biceps, dinner, that I'm looking forward to, and then the swim. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Insta bio! <laughs> Good. 
Come on. Good. Come on. 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 <laughs> <Bit heavy. laughs> Swinging like George of the Jungle on a few of them, mate. <laughs> it's good though, that's strong, man. It was alright, but you, I see what you mean about like. Well, I mean, if I, I mean, that's the stack. I hang on that, it's coming down, you know. No problem. You hang on it. <laughs> Isn't it what I mean? I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> so I could be like a million years. This you're about to see a very heavy pull up. So we're figuring out 170, 180. So th that's two of me. So it's, it's basically to put this into perspective what you're about to see, when I do it, imagine me doing a pull up with me hanging around my waist. Eddie's two of me. So that's basically what you're about to see here. It's like two of me. It's me doing a pull up, carrying me. That's what you're about to see. Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> Not about to. Potentially. Potentially about to. Nice. Come on. Come on. Good. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Finish, 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 finish. Oh, Jesus Christ. That, that's, harsh. that's harsh, man. I reckon, was that like five proper ones and like th that is three not quite there? Me, I honestly, I don't think there's such a thing. I, I don't think there's a proper technique for 170, 180. <laughs> you know, I, I like, you know, Kipping, no kipping. I challenge anyone to put 170, 180. They were good. Yeah. I'm say. I think he's got a second career in gymnastics. <laughs> or at least Cirque du Soleil. Jesus Something like Christ. that. <laughs> Aha. No, we're not deadlifting. Welcome to my world, Eddie. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put some weight on. We're going to see how that feels. I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> Get it? One, two, coming back in. Do you have to get another plate? Okay. <laughs> oh my word, that already feels a little bit. Bit too much. So that's the one. No, no, it's fine. That's forty. So that's like a a, tod a toddler. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it's like my six-year-old son. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay, and then sixty would be a small lady. Small yeah. Small lady. What small lady? You're giving me small. What's Hannah? You're about fifty-five. Fifty. Okay, so that plus ten is Hannah. Yeah. That's Hannah, by the way. Just <laughs> <laughs> so that yeah, so this plus a ten is a, is a Hannah, which is a metric for weighted pull-ups. One Hannah. One, two, three. That looks easy enough. <laughs> I, I reckon I could go sixty. That's fucking. Yeah. One, two, come on. Get it. <laughs> Two and a half! <laughs> That's a good effort, buddy. 200 kg. Flow script pull up. About to go down. This will be interesting. I don't think there's many people on earth who are probably able to do this. If it goes well. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that proper random <laughs> fucking taint. <laughs> Jesus Christ, fuck, fuck it off. <laughs> oh man. Again. One more. Come on. Push. Yeah. Good man. Thanks, good man. I need the final spot on. 
Oh. I think someone's getting a little bit tired now, are they? <laughs> <laughs> this is always his plan. Yeah, I see. You're going to make me tired, and then we're going to eat, and then he's going to push me in the pool. That's my plan all day. I'm going to wreck him in the gym, and he's going to do shit and swim. <laughs> Yes! Good man. Oh, legs are even wobbly. Fuck! Oh. A sting in the back now. Huh? Yeah, really is. Good. That was good. That was good. I like those assisted reps though. Because I was just, I was cheating it a little bit. You need, you need them sometimes. Yeah. I'm nervous about this. Like I said, he's racking the weight. We've added some bands, but I'm I'm pulling it at the same time as well. And he's just giving me instruction to just like try and stop him dead. That's my instruction. Shit, man, more, more. Come on, more, make it hard for more, me. More. More, more, more. Harder, come on. More, more. More, more, come on. That was hilarious. I don't know if you saw it at the start. I was pulling that. I'm not even, I'm not even, I was pulling it and he was shouting at me more. I ended up wrestling that. I've never, I'm meant to be spotting. I'm like the anti-spotter. I've never, I've never had that before. Where someone, any, I've never had that where someone shouted at me to resist more. That's the anti-spot. I was pulling it as well. I ended up, I ended up here and I rested my arm on there. I mean, it felt like a child pulling on it. <laughs> <laughs> that one hurt. <laughs> I felt good up until now. I actually thought I was feeling like feeling pretty strong, feeling feeling pretty good about myself. Life was pretty good in general. You know, feeling feeling you know quite quite muscly. I was like, oh, you know, I'm alright. I can go into most gyms in the UK and and hold my head high. You know that I can shift some weight. And then I decided to train with Eddie Hall. I now feel like a small boy <laughs> who hasn't hit puberty yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so protect yourself, step as a blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, more, 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 more. My God. Oh my god, I don't feel comfortable. Ah. What's my safety? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's go. Oh, we should have agreed a safety one <laughs> Peaches. 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 It's always peaches. That was scary. I was airborne. Oh. Better. Good. Good. <laughs> Yeah. Come, on. More. come on, come on, come yeah. on. Yeah. One more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Finish, finish. Oh. The, the, the belt snapping. The belt snapping. <laughs> Can you hear the belt snapping? Jerry, your belt's fucked. Sorry, buddy. You this has been the weirdest session <laughs> I've ever had. I've had to wrestle him with the band. Oh. Now I'm his weight. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's like so, the concept, we spoke about it before, but like, you know, body image and stuff, like make your body an instrument, not an ornament. Exactly. That's an instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I mean, when I was 31 stone, my belly was just huge. Yeah. It was like, I mean, prod it now, man. If I may. Wow. Solid. Like, yeah. Absolutely solid. And when it, even when it was like that, although it was bulging, like it was solid, it was hard as a rock, it was just like one big muscle. Yeah. And you pull that at the stone on too, it's just like you're, you've got your shelf built in. So it's like somebody's come along and screwed a shelf into your stomach. And just, just use it. Same with the log lift as well. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah bang. Just yeah. once you've got it there, roll it. It's a nice, nice bit of kit to have. Yeah. Power belly in the strong man, because you can just use it for carrying hoosa belts, at the stones, logs. Yeah. Use it for everything. I need myself a power belly, don't you? <laughs> Ideally, yeah. <laughs> Right, okay. Right, slow everything down now. So let, let, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me just try and... Whew. Right, so, we want to pull it into a chest. 
So nice wide stance. So from here, we're just pulling it into my chest like that. Then we're sitting down with it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, now watch where my arms go. So under like that, cross. Yeah. And then we're pulling into the chest. Right. Right. Alright, so arms straight. So stance, that's it. A bit, bit narrower stance. A little bit narrower. Okay, arms straight. Lap it, lap. Arms, that's it. Now keep your arms a bit more straighter than that so it's not on your biceps. There we go. Yeah. Right, pull it in. Right, sit down with it. End of your knees. Right, re grip. Make sure you get it underneath the stone and then pull it into your chest. Into your chest. Much better. <laughs> Still a little bit bicep heavy, but... Yeah, that was better. It was better though. The start was a lot better. Yeah. Okay. I've got this. Where's got the 200? No, I'm taking it! No, no, I'm taking it, I'm taking it. Right, straight arms. Bit of a narrower stance. Okay, as quickly as possible, get it to the end of your knees. And your knees, there we go, that's much better. Right, grip, grip your hands. Yeah, ooh. Ow. We're gonna leave that there, mate. <laughs> it's all in your biceps. Thanks for having me, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> it just went, it went from your oh, chest. No. You had it in a nice safe spot, and as soon as you stood up, it just went, it went all in your arms. I, don't have a I know, you haven't got a shelf. I mean, it's no excuse, but. <laughs> I, should... Oh, I should stick to swimming, shouldn't I? You should. Yeah, you should do I do I not have a future in strongman? Maybe you like, juniors. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. That <laughs> Oh, man, you big one. Thank you, right, man. man. That was sick. That was uh, sick. Everything always turns into a game with it. I'm like, I came down and I was like, oh, I can't wait to chow down. I could have never had a hot one yet. This is a hot one! You want a bad one? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh, it's bad this, isn't it?